the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 14, verses 15 to 24. One of those gathered round the table said to Jesus, Happy the man who will be at the feast in the kingdom of God. But he said to him, There was a man who gave a great banquet, and he invited a large number of people. When the time for the banquet came, he sent his servant to say to those who had been invited, Come along, everything is ready now. But all alike started to make excuses. The first said, I have bought a piece of land and must go and see it. Please accept my apologies. Another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I am on my way to try them out. Please accept my apologies. Yet another said, I have just got married and so I am unable to come. The servant returned and reported this to his master. Then the householder, in a rage, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and alleys of the town and bring in here the poor, the crippled, the blind and the lame. Sir, said the servant, your orders have been carried out and there is still room. Then the master said to his servant, Go to the open roads and the hedgerows and force people to come in to make sure my house is full because I tell you not one of those who were invited shall have a taste of my banquet. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, true greatness lies not in exalting ourselves, but in humbling ourselves before God and others. Today, we gather to reflect on the humility of Christ, guided by the readings from Philippines and Luke. The Apostle Paul encourages us to have the same attitude as Christ Jesus, who emptied himself taking the form of a slave. This selfless humility is the foundation of our faith. In the Gospel, Jesus teaches us through the parable of the great banquet. Those who humble themselves, recognizing their limitations and need for God's grace are exalted. On the other hand, the proud and self-sufficient are left empty-handed. Christ's humility is our ultimate model. He emptied himself, taking on human form and obediently accepted death on the cross. This humility brings salvation and glory to all who follow him. As we ponder Christ's humility, let us ask ourselves, where can we empty ourselves of pride and self-importance? How can we serve others with humility and compassion? Do we recognize our need for God's grace and guidance? Let us pray. Dear Lord, 
grant us the mind of Christ that we may humble ourselves and serve others. As we reflect on our lives, consider these questions. How can humility transform our relationships and communities? Where do we need to let go of self-importance and trust in God's providence? How can we embody Christ's selfless love in our daily lives? May we follow Christ's example, embracing humility and finding true greatness in serving others. May His love and grace guide us on our journey towards eternal life. Amen.